going on y'all today we have a recommended video by amari arnold big shout out to you remember if you would like a chance for a shout out comment down below the next fight you would like me to react to and if i choose your video i got you bro in today's matchup we have great versus as now i'm gonna keep it 100 with you fairy tale oh no i can never get into that akami got killed great anime if you never watched it go check it out people don't talk about it i don't know why but peep this I came into this completely biased. Team as death. Now in the breakdown, it does seem like Grey has an advantage over her. I'll admit that. But if she wins, that's fantastic. A draw most likely is not gonna happen. But even if she loses, team as death. If you are unaware, we do have memberships available on the channel. You can click on my profile and scroll over to see or click on the link down in the description. Make sure to check out all the perks and the things that you'll get if you do decide to join. But if you don't, it's absolutely okay. You can enjoy all my content for free. With that being said, big, big shout out to that boy All Heart No Skill for being the newest member. And I'm pretty sure that I did not do this and I apologize, but Dog Nation, shout out to you for being the first member, bro. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. The original video will be linked down below. Let's get it. Let's go. Whew, let's get it. <sighs> Such a paltry country is hardly worth conquering. Isn't he just so cold? Hey! Hmm? Take your troops and get out! Hmm. Wow! Uh, Come on, girl, don't be rushing over. Yeah. Oh, just what I needed. Another crazy blue-haired woman in my life. Come on. You have no right to feel my boot against your face now. What? Die for me. I think crush it, Flame. Take this! Why would you try to block that? Fight, Shannon! Bro, that's so OP. Very nice. She ate it, though. No. Let's get it. No way he survives this, right? Thanks for the meal. I say oh, I forgot he does that. Bro. Ice Devil Zero Longsword. And there, stop time. Stop time. She's too much. I have no choice. But I oh. everything in sight will be encased in ice. He can break through it. Breathe. K.O. Scream! K.O. Scream! Congratulations, and goodbye. Shatter! I don't even care! She got the dog! 
This just in, male stripper found dead after a crazy night with a dominatrix gone wrong. Oh More at seven. Let's get to this. This was certainly an interesting matchup, and both cryomancers held their own advantages. Oh yeah, Gray's awesome ice make powers meant he had a ton of versatility at his frosty he fingertips. Nice. Like how he could eat ice to replenish his That's magic. Crazy, she sure didn't I'll see that one coming. That. Though being the tactician she is, Esdeath likely wouldn't fall for any of Gray's tricks more than once. Also, both were in the same range of speed by scaling to feats of dodging lightning. Yeah, but the Queen of Cold Kink definitely had more ice power up her sleeves. Just look at those storms! The one Grayscale's two covered a country, while Esdeath's covered a whole continent! Exactly. True, but we still had to deduce the exact nature and potential of her storm. Remember, Esdeath specifically claimed it took her a few Dude, days to make the ice cavalry she used as fuel for the storm. A few generally means three at minimum. So we can cut the yield of our previous calculation to one third. Lowballing this a bit, let's assume she used all of her power each day to make one third of the total cavalry. This would mean as death could wield about 93 petatons worth of energy on a daily basis. Yeah, that's way more than Invel's ice storm, and 1,600 times deadlier than that meteor Urza obliterated. Esdeath Jeez. definitely had the advantage in sheer magic power. Even with his better resistances, there's no way Gray could survive that much magic force. So he really only had one shot, the Lost Ice Shell. Which certainly could have ended things right then and there, if not for Esdeath's time stop ability. Both the Ice Shell and Mahoptima could only be used once, but Mahoptima was more useful given its immediate effect compared to the Ice Shell's long casting time, and its versatility in that Esdeath could follow it up with whatever she wanted. Also, it doesn't kill her, so that's a plus. Um, sure. Technically, Gray's Ice Devil Slayer magic means he could probably resist the Mahoptopotamus a bit, but that brat Tatsumi had crazy good cold resistance too, and it didn't do him much good against the Time Freeze. Gray's speed and versatility meant he could hold his own, but as Death's awesome power, uniquely suited time freezing, and domineering perseverance saw her through this battle. Looks like as Death stopped Gray cold. That was a the good winner one. is as Death. I really thought he had the advantage, man. But as I said numerous of times, Team as Death. To all the fairy tale fans out there, I may have been sleeping on the show. It seemed like it's cool, but bro. If you've never seen a Kami guy kill, the show is cold, man. No pun intended. Shout out to Amari again for the recommendation. I was excited as soon as you dropped this comment. I replied to you ASAP. I don't want to take up too much more of y'all time. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on. Remember to comment down below the next fight you would like me to react to. As always, y'all be good, stay safe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Uh -oh.